Okay, today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how we're going to do the reporting for our learning teams this year. So, we're going to start it on the portal. I'm going to scroll down the page until we see My Collaborative Sites, and then click on the plus side next to District 8. It may take a minute or two for the subsites to populate, but once it does, you're going to select from Professional Development on the list below. And there we go. Now, on the page that comes up, we want to click on Learning Specialists Reporting Page. Once inside here, we can see all the learning specialists and the categories for all the learning teams that they're responsible for. All you need to do once you're in here is find the learning team that you signed up for. As an example, I'm going to go in here and just walk you through how to do the reporting. Once to this page, you will see your learning team in the top left-hand navigation panel. Other or within the learning team page, you can see all the meeting dates for the upcoming year, as well as all the documents where you're going to do the reporting. Now, the initial reaction or instinct would be to click on the document you see in front of you. But in order to make this easier and to upload it quicker, we're going to actually just click on the meeting title. Once we're within here, you can see the document, and it changes a little bit when I hover my cursor over it. There's a little down arrow that becomes visible as well. Click on that and select Check Out. Hit OK. And as you can see, the icon has changed here on the left-hand side. That means I have checked it out. Now we can just double-click on the document. Hit OK. And we'll be prompted again with something else. Click OK on that. Now we can see the document we need to do our reporting on. So we just type in and fill out the rest of the information. Once we've done this, it's just as simple to update this by going to File and Check In. You can add version comments, but you don't have to. So just click OK. Now that we've done that, the document has been uploaded back to the site and you're done. Now that we're back on the main page, I just wanted to show you a few other features you can utilize as a team. So, if there were any announcements that you wanted to add, let's just say after your first meeting, there were a few resources that people said that they wanted to bring. Maybe we could just send a reminder to the team to do that. So we'll just click on Add New Announcement, Title, Resources for Next Session, and then just a quick reminder to everyone that they need to bring the resources they suggested last meeting. Hit OK. And then now that will pop up right here. So that even if it's just the night before they wanted to check out the learning team site before they came in, they'll see that and hopefully remember what they needed to bring. Now after your meeting, if there are people that suggested new websites, and even during your meeting, you can add new links just by clicking on Add New Link, copying the address here, and then giving the title. That way everyone can share resources easily and hopefully get a better understanding or keep better organized for the meetings that we're going to be going through this year. Anyway, so this is just the simple new way that we're going to do our reporting this year. If there are any questions, uh, contact Mark Gaudin or the Tech Mentors for District 8.